all right so you're welcome to this video and this is just a short one uh, before we get into the solution like trying to solve the volterra um, integral equation we have to know differentiation under the integral sign okay so um this is just a quick one it's like anytime you have the derivative of such an integral you're given a function of x and t f is a function of x and t not only x okay and it's being integrated if this had been a function of only x okay then you could have said that the derivative is going to be the inverse of the integral so they just cancelled off but this is a function of x and t at the same time and you're differentiating the integral with respect to only x okay so it means you can just you cannot just cancel these um, um the derivative and the integral okay so leibniz came with this rule and it actually works so what you first have to do is to first um this is the function you're talking of right so you pick the functional value at x x is always constant you know under the integral sign you are differentiating with respect to t or you are integrating with respect to t so if anything is supposed to change in the function of x and t it's the t which should be changing all right yes so you pick the function or the functional value at x and since t, t is changing it's going to be t changing to become the upper um, limit okay so you find a function of x and the upper limit you multiply by the derivative of the upper limit minus the um f at x and the lower limit multiplied by the derivative of the lower limit then plus you push the differentiation or the derivative into the um integral sign so once you are differentiating only with respect to x and you have a function of x and t over here it differentiates partially with respect to x in here then with the limits you are done with the um, differentiation okay so that's how we do we differentiate under the integral sign so there's a quick example over here that i want us to go through like i said we are not wasting so much time here so with this it's going to be a very simple the solution is going to be very simple so solution in our solution we have our f of xt being equal to 3 xt right so what do we have to know we have to know f of x at the and the upper limit okay so we need to know f of x and the upper limit what's the upper limit over here x right so we have x and that's going to be equal to 3x times x is equal to 3x squared all right now we look for the functional value of x at the lower limit so we have f x lower limit and that's going to be 3x times 0 that's going to be 0 all right yes so now we go back to our formula go back to our formula you know that the derivative of the integral from 0 to x of 3 x t dt that's going to be this over here okay this over here which is 3 x squared times or multiplying the derivative of the upper limit and we know the derivative of the upper limit to be 1 so dx dx minus f of x zero is going to be zero okay times or multiplying the derivative of the lower limit so the derivative of the lower limit which is zero so you have the zero dx mm -hmm. then plus plus the integral from zero to x of del del x of the function which is 3 x t t so now let's do our simplification we have this side being equal to 3 x squared ds ds is just one but this side goes to zero so minus zero plus you have the integral of zero to x now we are integrating we are differentiating this one with respect to x that gives us 3 t dt 
So now we have this being equal to 3x squared plus we have this one being equal to 3t squared all on 2 from 0 to x. So we have 3x squared plus this integral is um, this definite integral is actually going to give us um, 3x squared all on 2 minus 0 because when you put x over here you have 3x squared on 2 and when you put in 0 you have minus 0 so it's going to be equal to 3x squared plus 3x squared on 2 and this gives you 9x squared on 2 so this is the solution after you want to differentiate this integral all right so we are going to need this understanding in solving for the solution of or in solving um, the Volterra integral equation in the next video okay so see you in the next video